Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are doing an underarm wax. So not only am I doing an underarm wax, I'm going to extract the ingrown. She has two ingrowns under both arms, but we're going to get to that afterwards. I like to wax first, then extract. So I did go ahead and cleanse the area real good, and I'm going to put down some cornstarch baby powder. Y'all see, I ain't used a lot this time. I wish I would have put more down. And right here, I'm just checking to see what direction the hairs are growing in. You might see a little bit going to the left, but for the most part, they are going downwards to the right. And today we are using Magical only because I feel like it didn't get enough credit and enough camera time because I was still trying to figure out what temperature works best to use it at and I finally found the right temperature. I actually used this wax, today was Wednesday when I recorded this video. I actually used this wax on every client I had prior to her because she was like the second to last client. So I used this wax on probably like seven clients prior to her and it was working just fine. So I'm like, you know what, let's get some content with this wax. The content I had prior with this wax was okay. But again, with waxing, you have to figure out what temperature works for you. And I found it. I was literally on a fence about if I want this wax in my collection or not, but clearly I got my answer. So I'm going to stop talking and let y'all hear her reaction to this underarm wax. Ah, help me, Lord. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Y'all, I don't know what that was about. Somebody on TikTok said, I don't know if the wax felt good or she was in pain. Me either. I didn't know whether to stop the service or to keep going, but clearly I kept going because I have a whole video. So that was the after strip. This is her underarm after. As you can see, most of the hairs came up, but we are going to go in with a cleanup strip. And as you can see, the cleanup strip is going to be way thinner than the original strip. Less is always more when it comes to cleanup strip. And you will learn that too once you start working with different types of wax and different type of hair texture. But the less wax you use on your cleanup strip, the more it's likely to get up those hairs that were left behind on the first strip. So prior to me doing this cleanup strip, I knew that I was two strips and done. This will be my last strip on her because the first strip, the hairs picked up really, really good. This was just the cleanup strip to make sure that no hairs were left behind. I am going to go in and tweeze just probably a few. I normally don't tweeze, but... In this case, I am because I already got to pull them out to extract them. This is what the wax picked up at the end. And now I'm going to go in to get a good look at the ingrown and tweeze just a few. The crazy part about it is I saw the ingrown in the camera when I glanced in the camera. And you could literally see a piece of hair at the surface of the ingrown. So I'm just tweezing those unwanted hairs with these tweezers. Then I'm going to go in with my grippers to try to get the hair out with those. But I know y'all can't see, so how about we zoom in so y'all can. And I don't know if it's just me or not, but I could literally see the hair. Like, literally see the hair. Even from right here, I could see it. So I'm just going to go in with my grippers. But the thing about my grippers is they're bent. You want to know why they bent? Because they keep dropping. So when this happens, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give y'all a tip for that in another video of what to do. But here is the hair. So thin. Something so small causes so much damage to the skin. And the crazy part about it is it wasn't even attached to anything. The hair was out of the follicle and it was just roaming around in the skin. Just roaming around having a good time. So today, today is Friday. Like I said, this video was recorded Wednesday. I hit 10K on TikTok probably like earlier this week or the end of last week, one of the two. And I am just so happy because I, I'm not going to say I don't do social media because I started like really doing social media during COVID. I didn't take social media serious until January of this year, January of this year. I was just playing around with TikTok last year and playing around with YouTube last year. I always knew I wanted to do YouTube, though, but I was still playing around with it. 
And you always hear people talk about be consistent, be consistent. Yes, it's true. But I'm going to drop some more gems when it comes to social media because you always see people with the 100K followers and stuff like that talking about like how to advance in social media. You never hear about the people at like 50K or less talk about social media. So I feel like that's my time to shine, my time to step in. Um, For one... I'm only at 10K on you uh, TikTok, and I'm at 17K on YouTube. Like, I have so much to talk about when it comes to content that I'm going to just wait and give it in another video. But, y'all, it's really, really easy. It's not that hard as it may seem to get monetized on these social media platforms. But, okay, enough of that. Here we are doing the opposite underarm, the other underarm, and we are using a new wax. So we're trying out a new wax. This wax is called Royal Plum. That's the name I name it. I like that name. If you want, if you like another name or you think of another name, let me know so we can change the name. But so far, I like Royal Plum. Y'all, I'm about me another tripod because this was such a funky angle to work in. Like, if y'all could see the behind the scenes, y'all would see how twisted I am. And you know it's an awkward position because I can't even make my lift right. Like, look at that. And then watch how I remove it. Even though I always make it work, like... No matter what, I always make it work, but still. One thing I love about a wax is when I'm applying it and I can feel it drying as I'm applying, that makes me so happy because I know that the wax can keep up with my type of speed. And to me, it did change colors a little bit as it was drying. Like, I felt like it became like a white type of pink, um, pink, a white type of purple. And this would have been a clean strip because you can see at the top that it was still some hair left behind. It, this would have been a clean strip had the camera not been in my way. Like the way the camera is angled, it is really like, you know, in my way. So here's the after. And if you go back and look at the video, like the beginning to when I applied this purple wax, you will see that the color actually did change. It became a white type of pale pink. Because uh, I keep saying pink, purple, because this is how the purple look when you apply it. And as it got dry, it turned into another color, like a lighter purple. So here I am mixing the two. I am mixing the purple wax with black onyx. Black onyx go with anything. I'm not going to hold you. When I said a universal wax, I meant that. I meant that. I can't wait till y'all. I can't wait till y'all able to experience black onyx like I have. So my phone ended up running out of storage again. So here we are. We're going to hold skin taut and remove stagger pools. And look at that. When I tell you I just been two and done with her underarms. And right here, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more so y'all can see what I see. And we're going to do just a little instructions. If I told you once, I'm going to tell you again. You have to exfoliate. Those ingrowns will sneak up on you at any given time, whether they're big or small. They will sneak up on you. The, the smallest change in aftercare will trigger those ingrowns. So after your wax, no fragrance, no intercourse, no sweating. You want to wait 48 hours until you can exfoliate. Make sure you're moisturizing. Make sure your water intake is good. You're hydrating and moisturizing that skin. Because look at this little piece of hair that was causing all this drama, all this commotion for just this little piece of hair. Look at that. So when my clients come back after they 30 days and they say, oh, I was experiencing this. Or, oh, this happened, this happened. And I said, what did you do? Or what was you using? And they tell me, baby, I'll be shocked. I'll be shook. I'll be like, what? That's not what we talked about. Why do y'all go rogue after y'all wax appointment? Like, why do y'all just try anything y'all want to? Because of TikTok? Y'all see what y'all see on TikTok? But I ain't here to get on y'all back. It's y'all vagina. I just wax it. Here's her underarms, and we done. I'm finna send her on about her way.